Okay, so today we're going to look at a 1979 Schwinn Stingray, uh, three speed with the coaster brake. This bike's going to go up for auction. It'll end on a Sunday, January 8th, 2017. Uh, so this is a 79, so the Schwinn went with a little different look, starting in 79. Instead of having the darts, uh, they had the word Schwinn written here on the forks. And then on the top bar, they had Stingray. Uh, uh, decal for stingray on the top bar and then of course the chain guard no longer had the uh, Schwinn stingray uh, on the chain guard. So they started to make a couple changes. This was getting to the end of the line of the stingrays. Uh, I think they made them for another two or three years and that was it. But this is a really nice original 79. I don't think you're going to find a 79 with, that's more original than this one. I know a lot of these bikes are bought up and people take the parts off of them. The handlebars, the neck, the wheels, the crank, the seat post, the sissy bar. So to find one that's still all intact uh, is hard to do, especially in this condition. So this was a three speed, but it had a coaster brake. But because it was a multiple speed, like, like Schwinn did with a lot of their models, it still had a front brake on it, a hand brake. And uh, so we're going to talk about all the original parts on this bike. I'm going to show uh, mechanical working, shifting through all three gears, braking in all three gears, and take it for a little ride. So it's a CQ serial number, so that's March of 79. And then as far as all the parts that should have been date coded, they're all correct. The handlebars have a 79 date code on them. The, uh, the neck has a 79 date code on it. The uh, crank has a 79 date code on it. The back wheel, which was the three speed that um, Schwinn was using, was the Sterney Archer England. This is Sterney Archer England made. Uh, they put date codes on their hubs. It has a 79 on it. Let's see what else. Oh, the head badge, uh, I think starting in 77 or 76, Schwinn started putting a date code on their head badges. And this one is uh, 1. 099, which I think the 109th day of 79, which would be like April 19th of 1979. So everything matches up. This looks like a very original bike. The uh, tires, we got a West Wind on the front, and this was a this has got the Made in the USA on it, which leads me to believe that's the original tire. It's not a reproduction. Then you've got the knobby uh, style Schwinn Stingray back tire that's also got uh, Made in the USA on it. Uh, the shifter we have here is an all metal Sterling Archer shifter. This is not the plastic one. This is the metal body. The, the handle, the knob here is plastic. It's got the metal body. It's got a plastic protective cover over it. The only thing that I could find, the only thing that I know of, because I replaced it, is the, uh, the shifter cable had to be replaced to uh, make the bike mechanically sound. Uh, so it just, it's got all the correct reflectors on it, front, back, wheels, the pedals got the reflectors on them. Uh, there's no, no surface rust on this bike. This bike was clean inside and out. Uh, it's got a couple of small scrapes uh, in the chrome here. It probably did get laid down once or twice, but not much, just a little bit. This probably, this is probably more of someone turning them upside down and working on them. It's so light. Someone turned it upside down on the concrete to change the flat tire once or twice. That's where they got those scratches from. Uh, so all the paint looks great. It's got a couple of little small, typical wrench strikes here. Someone adjusting the seat, and they're gonna hit the frame over and over again with their wrench, because they wanna use a crescent wrench on it. Uh, and it's got a few, maybe rocks or something, but it's, the paint looks really good. Got more back here. That's probably another wrench strike back there. Uh, so let's just look at it, uh, the mechanical workings of it. And uh, I'm going to show this front brake real quick. That's the Wyman uh, front brake, Schwinn approved, German made. Okay. So all that's working good. Nice spinning wheel. That's a Schwinn approved uh, hub. Uh, they must have contracted out. These were being made in Germany, the, uh, the front wheel on this one. And then this back wheel, like I said before, is a Sturmey Archer, made in England, three speed. Okay, so we're in, we're in gear number three right now. So that would be like your, uh, your biggest gear. That's the one that's uh, 
you know, a little harder to pedal, but you can build up the most speed on. All right, so nice and smooth. I'm gonna break it in each gear. All right, so that's number three. All right, so we're gonna get it back up to speed, and then we're gonna shift to two. All right, there's two. We're gonna leave your pedal. We're gonna cruise in two. I'm gonna break it in two. All right, we're gonna get going again in two. I'm gonna go in one. This will be the easiest one to pedal. Use that one going up a hill when you first get started. All right, so there's number one. Least resistance, break it. All right, so everything's working on this bike. Take it down and shift it a couple times on the road. And uh, that's it. Uh, like I said, 79 is not a highly sought after year, but if you need a 79 for your collection, this is going to be the one you want with the uh, original seat. It's got one little tear in the vinyl on the other side. I mean, that's just real small. We'll get a picture of it. Uh, I'll show it whenever we bring it down on the road before I take off on it. It's real, real light just right on the edge of the pan and uh, so the seat looks great like I said these are always hard to find but that's still on there the decals on it and uh, so we'll see you on the road all right so we got the bike out on the road I want to show that little anyone might think it's a big rip so just a little small uh, rip right there and uh, while we're on this side, you, you can see that's that's going to be the worst spot on the paint on the bikes right there. So this is really nice original paint. The bike looks to be all original, with the exception of the shifter cable that I changed. To make the bike. I'm going to try to ride it in a small circle right here, and uh, I'm going to start gear one. We went from three to one in size. Now I'm going to go back from one to three. So this would be really easy pedaling when I start. And we'll just go up and just show that it is working. Not just on the stand, but also on the street. Here we are, gear one. It's nice and smooth. Great. Right, so two. resistance that's got to be your cruising gear now we're going to shift to three so there was one we went one two three Nice and smooth on all three gears. All three are working. Brakes in all three. Front brakes work. Everything's mechanically sound. We're going to have pictures of all the different date codes on the handlebars, neck, crank. Mike's been taken apart, put back together. It's going to make a real nice addition to somebody's uh, collection if you need a 79. Thank you.